Welcome to the Simon Project. In this video, we want to talk about the Simon Framework. Recall that we define abundance as the relationship between population and time prices, and we have an equation that quantifies this relationship that we call the price elasticity of population, or PEP. That equation is the percentage change in prices divided by the percentage change in population. Note that we always assume that population is increasing. This equation will produce a coefficient, and that coefficient will indicate one of four abundance zones. Uh, decreasing abundance, emerging abundance, accelerating abundance, or superabundance. Decreasing abundance is defined as a condition where prices are increasing at a faster rate than population. The PEP coefficient will be greater than 1. Emerging abundance is a condition where prices are increasing, but at a slower rate than population. In this situation, the PEP will be less than 1, but greater than 0. Accelerating abundance occurs when prices begin to decrease as population is increasing. The PEP in this situation will be less than zero. Superabundance is actually a special zone where prices are decreasing proportionally faster than population is increasing. Superabundance has an equation that simply says <clears throat> Population times prices today is actually going to be less than population times prices yesterday. There are, uh, are also some other equations that we use to define this uh, line and this area. Uh, if you uh, take a look at these in the uh, report, you'll be able to see more detail on these uh, equations. So the way to illustrate our uh, framework is to look at uh, our percentage change in time price divided by the percentage change in population, our equation, and then we can graph this. So let's graph the percentage change in population and the percentage change in time prices and set the axis equal to a zero on the population uh, axis from zero to 100% and on uh, the time price axis from uh, plus 100 percent down to uh, minus 100 percent. Recall that we draw a 45 degree line and that line is a identity line that we define as sustaining where the PEP is equal to 1. Above that line uh, we experience decreasing abundance. This is a condition where prices are increasing faster than population. Below that line prices will continue to increase but at a uh, not as fast as uh, population is increasing. So below uh, the zero line we actually have two zones and they are divided, um, the zero line we also call the inversion line. Below that area uh, we actually have two zones and it's divided by uh, what we call the nirvana line. There's an equation for that line. Uh, above that line uh, we identify that area as the accelerating abundance zone, and below the nirvana line, uh, we identify that area as uh, superabundance. So let's look at an example here for a moment. Let's assume that population has increased by 70%, and we're going to look at uh, different changes in time prices. Uh, so with our equation, we'll just plug in 70% in the denominator. And let's uh, look at a condition where prices are increasing at 80%. That equation would give us a PEP coefficient of 1.14. If prices were increasing at exactly the same rate, or 70%, our PEP equation would yield a coefficient of 1.0. If uh, prices were increasing less than 70%, uh, say 50%, our PEP would still be positive, but it would be less than 1, indicating um, the, emerging, the emerging abundance zone. If uh, prices were not changing at all, uh, our PEP would be 0, would be right on the inversion line, indicating no price and change as population increased. If prices begin to decrease, um, say, minus 20 percent, our PEP would be negative, uh, indicating uh, a zone of uh, acceleration. 
Now, if we calculated the Nirvana line at 70%, that value would actually indicate a value of minus 41%. This is a condition where the prices are decreasing proportionally at the same rate that population is increasing. And that would yield a value of uh, 0 0.59. That PEP at uh, a 70% population increase would put us right on the Nirvana line. If it was less than that, if our chain, if our prices were decreasing at a rate uh, lower than minus 41%, say uh, minus 70%, the PEP would actually be a minus one, and that would put us into the superabundant zone. To learn more about the Simon framework and our astonishing abundance, please visit humanprogress.org slash Simon Project. Thank you for listening to this video.